Advent 1, Year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this first week in Advent speak of making ourselves ready for the coming of the Son of Man. By that coming, we mean both the coming of Jesus into the world as an infant and his coming again in glory to judge both the living and the dead. Advent as a whole reminds us that while we may want to domesticate Jesus, limiting ourselves to the image of the infant wrapped up in our sentimentality as tightly as in swaddling clothes, nevertheless, this child will come to overturn the world as we know it. Our natural inclination in the face of this realization is to focus our preparations on some distinct moment of encounter. We want to know about that day and hour so that we can set aside the grinding of meal and prioritize the sharpening of swords. But the coming of the Son of Man is not like that. Isaiah tells us that at his coming we shall beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks, preparing not for cataclysm, but for cultivation. When Paul tells us that now is the moment for us to wake from sleep and live honorably as in the day, he means us to stop waiting for a special event. It is in our day-to-day -day living that we must demonstrate our knowledge of Jesus' ways and our determination to walk in his paths. Though there will be a last day, a day when we find our feet standing within the gates of Jerusalem, we can go up towards it only by living faithfully in the here and now, in the name of the one in whom we put our faith, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.